we've kind of slowed down on our hunt for a diamond antelope jackrabbit with a couple of hunts over on Leighton and Hirschfelden, but today I thought it was time to get back to it, and we're out here today on Rancho in multiplayer because despite hundreds of rabbits shot in single player, not a single level 3 has shown up, so at least I figure if we're on the map we have a chance, and we'll kind of see what happens. I've genuinely struggled in the last couple of days just trying to determine a approach. Because on one hand, you could go and just chase rabbits and only really go after them. And that's pretty much what I've been doing in single player with no real results to speak of. And I guess the other approach is to kind of just hunt whatever's active and hope to maybe stumble into a rabbit that way. And that is the way that we killed a couple of diamonds in the early access period. But even when I've done that, it's not really done anything, but I think for the sake of trying to have a kind of varied um, result for the hunt, we're probably going to kind of go with that approach and mostly go after whatever is active at the time. And the nice thing about that is there are other things on this map that I still want to get, and really it's most of the things on this map that we have the opportunity to find that I still would like to get. And one of those is a rare pheasant. and. I think that's something that's really kept me kind of interested in not only the map, but in general, this grind for a diamond rabbit. You never know when you're going to step on one and just see a rare pheasant come flushing out of the brush, and I don't know where that one just disappeared to, that's kind of an odd way that it's trying to flush, but if we can get it to take off, it is a pretty big one. I don't know why it is so determined to stay on the ground, but I think usually when they stop, they're usually pretty close to taking off, so if we can, we'll go ahead and drop that guy to the sky. Actually got another one to sound off up there. And yeah, I mean, maybe if we can't run into a diamond rabbit, we could have a chance at running into a diamond or rare pheasant instead. And fittingly, moving to another species that I definitely wouldn't mind hunting more, we have a mythical bobcat out here. and. There's a couple of different things I'd like to get. A diamond blue fur type bobcat would be amazing, but there are also melanistic and albino, and both of them in my opinion look quite good, so if we could get lucky enough to get a rare of those, that would be something that we'd have to find room for in the trophy lodge, so for now, just a mythical brown. I don't know what that little animation was, but I thought we were going to take that shot, and then he kind of moved a little bit and made me second guess, but looks like we got a lung. And by the way, carrying the 243 today for this loadout, it's probably not a bad thing to spend some time hunting bobcats. I think there is another one. Just a little guy. Looks like he's doing the kind of bobcat in Link's dance, so we'll take him since we get to go around and pretty much go right through there to claim the mythical. But since we have the 20 gauge, and since we have the bow, if we were able to get lucky enough to find a jackrabbit, we could maybe take it with that and fill that one remaining platform. The only way to cover the rest of the species is to carry the 243, so that's going to be our kind of medium game gun in general today. I know that this area does have a lot of bobcats, but to have four all in such a small spot, and maybe five, I'm not sure if that's another bobcat or just a lighter spot, but even still with the four, that's kind of a lot to get in this one little corner, and I mean, at least one of them was good with the mythical. I almost feel like despite the fact that there is a common fur type for them, the brown is the most common that I see. 26.3 for that guy, so kind of like an average size mythical I'd say. Single lung them at 160. And sadly I think that is going to be the last bobcat at least for a while because we're pretty well to the end of their drink time. And we might go and look for some other stuff anyway. We definitely haven't done a ton of bighorn hunting. And the one thing that I really like is they retextured them with the Rancho update, and it's this fur type right here, which I think is just called Brown, that I actually do want a diamond of. Now, I'm not sure. Yeah, they're close enough that they're just going to hear the shot without the bullet hitting near them, so good that we didn't fire right at them. And I wanted to get a hard shot. I think he may have taken one step too much. Definitely got a lung there with the 243, so it's going to bring him down. I pretty much... For one, I wanted to shoot that because it was a level 4, but also wanted to take it just to take a better look at the fur type because I know we've got some diamonds in the Trophy Lodge from SRP, but I don't know that any were like the old brown fur type that would be changed to this one now anyway. And there were obviously a number of changes with the Rancho update to different textures. This is one of my favorite ones though, like when I think of specifically like a desert bighorn sheep, 
This is sort of what I imagine, and minus the horns anyway on this guy, I think it looks pretty good. And they did kind of the same thing with Mule Deer and Whitetail. The changes they made, in my opinion, were net positives. I know for certain that the Whitetail Jackrabbits can make diamond at level 2. I'm trying to think if I've ever actually seen a Antelope Jackrabbit posted that was a diamond level 2, because they're scored the same. I imagine they can be, and I know I've said this before, everything in Call of the Wild for the last couple of maps has kind of turned it towards like animals being one level below the max having a slight chance of being diamond. So I imagine at 5 to 6, that guy would have a slight chance, but I couldn't even give a ballpark number on how many like 4kg 5 to 6 estimate jackrabbits I've shot. And they've all been golds, even, you know, a number of them being fairly close, but I guess technically there's no proof they can't make it, so we'll cross our fingers here just in case. I think he is a common fur type, and he is kind of decent. I mean, six score. Only one needed 0.3 higher, and a long shot's always nice to make. One thing I learned in single player is that there are just so many rabbits on this map. Hunting multiplayer in just like a couple of little hotspots and hoping for the best isn't necessarily a great strategy, and I do think going around and just hunting whatever's active is a different thing entirely, but almost everywhere you go, especially during their feed time, there seem to be rabbits out and about. Since we have the opportunity, we'll get a little more use out of the shotgun. I had no idea what we were in for when we did that. Probably could have looked around a little more. And, I mean, that is why I carry the shotgun. Those situations right there, no clue if we got anything decent out of it. In fact, we managed to shoot all females. Now, generally what happens is they flee for a while and then stop. I don't want to cause too much hunting pressure for the host here, so I think we're going to just kind of be happy with that. Another 5 to 6, though. 5.3 and pretty much the low end of that possible score estimate. Man, please... Please let this be our diamond antelope jackrabbit. We have a level 3 out here with what I would call a pretty low estimate. It's 5 to 6, and I've shot, I think, 3 different level 2s, which were 6 to 7 estimate, and all those did end up being a gold, but of course 3 is the max level, and all we need is a 6.3 out of that, so we're gonna try to get in bow range and take him with the hawk edge. We need to get probably within like 30. And it's the beginning of their feed time. We have till around 8 p.m. And it's just coming up on 6 now. So plenty of time to scoot in and hopefully make this shot here. He's about 35 meters. Kind of scooting around over there. And I'm pretty sure he's the modeled fur type. Which, oddly enough, I wasn't a huge fan of when we saw it in the early access period. But it's become one of my absolute favorites. It's just kind of the specific coloration I think of when I just kind of consider a sort of like desert jackrabbit, but they are pretty unaware we are here, although standing up is probably not the way to ensure that stays the case. But 0 for 20, we need to get that to give us the correct range, and that is actually our second level 3 antelope jackrabbit down. The first one trolled. I really, really hope this one doesn't. Perfect shot right in there, like under the shoulder. Fingers crossed. And he is a diamond at 6.4. I never could have imagined. I mean, two in the early access. Let's tax this before anything dumb happens. Two in the early access. And for the life of me, I could not get a diamond in the live game. Somebody actually just shot, in fact, the host shot a diamond pheasant. So I guess this is a good small game map. But I mean, we had the troll and I didn't put it in a video. Basically, it was not too far from here. Would have been in this particular spot right here. Not only did it troll us, but the game also crashed between shooting it and going to claim it. So there's like no shot information on it. I just didn't feel like putting that in the video because it just looks all weird. Like it says nothing because we did crash. But we got one in an even better way with the bow. And now officially, we do have a diamond of every species in the game again. And I'm so glad to have that out of the way, because there's been a lot of grinds that I've wanted to do, but I've been wanting to kind of get back to that achievement of having a diamond of each species, and it's been basically a month, but we're finally here again. It is incredible what the hunt for one of these guys entailed. I mean, we just did a full video 
of trophies that basically weren't a diamond jackrabbit in the process of trying to get one. And I was a little bit annoyed at first that we ended up getting one in multiplayer because we put in a ton of time in single player, but the nice thing is there are multi mounts for the jackrabbits available, and eventually I want to do one, so maybe all that grinding is going to pay off eventually with a diamond or rare from single player as well, but it's nice to have all the diamonds in the game again for now, and nice to have a little bit of freedom to go after basically some of the other things, such as potentially a gold melanistic mountain goat. That's one thing I want to get back to, I know Silver Ridge Peaks has some fast traveling issues, but we may give it a try sometime here in the near future, but anyway, that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.